Okay, so now that literally everybody from top to bottom in Disney, including the janitor, has confirmed that Deadpool 3 is in the MCU and it's R-rated, can everybody just now accept the fact that Deadpool 3 is R-rated and in the MCU? No. How are people still you. doubting this? I, Kevin Feige it's literally... Disney. That's literally it. It's because it's Disney. God damn. That's the only argument you'd ever see. It's like, oh, Disney aren't going to do R-rated. They're going to fuck it up. <laughs> it's like, guys, they've said from the, the, work, the, the start. The start. The, the minute they got them, I go was out there looking you dead in the camera. And like, it will be R-rated and in the MCU. The second they had this, guess who was in the banner for the Disney website? <laughs> Deadpool. Literally. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. The moment the acquisition was announced, was announced and he was at the center of the entire banner. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. guys, yep. they a banner is made so it draws your attention to the middle. And yep. Deadpool was in the middle. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I guess now, you know, it is a thing, though, that people are kind of looking at. Wait a second. They did confirm, yes, it's Deadpool 3, okay? Yeah. And yes, it's also an MCU film. And now people are going, hmm, please do explain yourself, sir. Because it's like, <laughs> those things, they're weird. How do those this fit is, in? This is the magic of Deadpool. You don't have to explain that. Exactly. That that can literally be a running explain. joke. That is the joke. Like, don't explain it. They will explain it because that is also the magic of Deadpool is you get to explain everything and then, hey, it's just, he's doing it because it's Deadpool. <laughs> you can do whatever the hell you want with that character. Mm -hmm. And what, no one's going to question it because everyone knows it's Deadpool. Everyone right. knows what Deadpool's like at this point. So it's just like, oh, cool. He's just, he's, you know, he's giving a throwaway line about how, why this is happening. I literally want the opening of Deadpool 3, right? To be him. And he's like, look, I don't know how to explain this. I'm kind of stupid. And he brings on Eric Salvig. And he has just a big board that he's pointing to. And Deadpool just voices that over. He's like, and then, and then, and then. And here's how I'm here. Now let's get to the movie. And that's it. Like He goes back to Thor The Dark World. And he takes Selvig, like... He stops his presentation with that chalkboard that has 616 yes, on it. Yes, yes. It's like, this is, this, this is what's going on right now. Cool, moving on. That's right. what we need. Like, just make it simple, to the point, Deadpool and stupid. Make it a joke, laugh a little, get to it. We're going to have Deadpool as a goddamn R-rated movie in the MCU, which, I mean, that within itself Could is pretty awesome. Could be R-rated. Uh, that, it has to be, right? Like, I mean, it, like it's Blade. Because they've, they've said before that, they, you know, they're not opposed to doing R-rated Marvel movies. They're just yeah. going to have to put them under a banner that shows you that it's going to be different. Right. So could we get a new Marvel Studios logo? I, Marvel Studios Knights brand or something could work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Marvel I Studios Marvel Max. Is the easiest one. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I, I would hope Blade does it, because, dude, it's... It's Blade. It, there's blood <laughs> everywhere. Blood. Vampires. Like, come on. Like, yeah. Uh, which, this also gives me hope that now they're not going to be bound to, you know, like, that certain style of storytelling. And we saw people, and we talked about it last show, people got outraged that WandaVision was going to have episodes that are all ages technically like eight and up let's say like the general age and people are like what that's I, that's childifying and then everybody points out well mando's half those episodes are the same rating and they're like well that's different it's like no it, it's the same like you know people are people are dumb oh yeah yeah people are dumb they're, they're just dumb yeah you know, you know it's you look at to to bring it to current events everyone's like Oh, Antifa's done this, Antifa's done that. Like, it's all an Antifa, like, they're all actors and all that stuff. Right, right, like, right. Well, if they're all actors, why are you being proud of it? That's all happened and yeah, cheering yeah. up. It's... Like, you, you know, you, you get what I mean. So, like, it's, you can equate it to, like, well, Deadpool can be irated. Like, they can say it all they want, but, you know, it's, you, you're willfully choosing to ignore the fact uh, for why. I, I don't know. Like, it's, it all works. It, it's going to be R-rated. They're going to put it out under the Fox Studios brand, you know, 20th Century Studios brand, because that's what it's going to go under, let's be real. <laughs> Would they want to put anything out under a Fox name at the minute? Yeah. I, mean, I know yeah. there's separate things that people still have that connection. Yeah, they do. And, you know, there'll be a new sub-Marvel brand, and 
it opens them up to this world of possibilities. And technically then, I mean, uh, this is in a weird way now that they confirm this is all MCU and stuff. I mean, the Fox universe is weirdly canon now. Like, I mean, that, that depends. <laughs> you could, they could, they could easily go and be like, "Yeah, it, it happened in a, it's a multiverse thing." Oh, one hundred percent. It was over here. We haven't got to talk about it. Maybe before we know, Deadpool three is kills the Fox universe. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, if they if they want to do it, the easiest way to do it is just do that. I know it's a tired, played out fan theory at this point, and fan theories get dragged on to the point where they're non-existent. You know. So, oh, I, I, I need Stark and Doctor Strange to do the facial hair bro hat high five. Right? No, they're not in that point. They don't know each other that well. They, they can't do that. That's just dumb. Mm-hmm. So, like, Kills the Marvel Universe is, is eventually going to get to that point. But hey, it's an easy route. Just do it. Right. Obviously, depending how far out Deadpool 3 is. Right. right. Yeah. And it, it's also. I don't know, it's kind of a cool, like, idea that this whole multiverse thing, which obviously, we're going into the multiverse so deep in the next couple years that by the time we get to Deadpool, it's already going to be something that most fans are used to. So just dragging them into the proper MCU will seem like nothing. Like, literally, it'll seem like nothing. And, I mean, for all we know, he might actually appear in one of the upcoming multiverse projects. We just have no idea. And we're like, oh. Yeah. Cool. So it's not like they haven't got him on board already. So it is. You it's... know they're working on the movie, so exactly. Like, and we know they have all those suits and everything, and all the assets that they mm-hmm. got from Fox. So it's like, it, like, like, we don't know anything. There's nothing here. I'm saying, but like, they could have literally been like, "Hey, for Wandavision, Ryan, want to come on to Stagecraft and do a quick scene, and we'll drop it in there." Sure. Oh, please no. <laughs> I would, dude. I would. That's the secret cameo, Mitch. That's the secret oh, cameo. No. Ah. No, no, please don't. But no, see, he's not going to be Deadpool. He's just going to be a nosy neighbor who's just Ryan Reynolds, and he he realizes he's I do, Ryan see, Reynolds. That'd be fine. That I'd be perfectly fine with. No, just, if it's just Ryan Reynolds in there, be perfectly fine. <laughs> but the second it's, I don't know. I know Ryan is just literally just playing himself as Deadpool. Mitch, um, the second put Deadpool in there. I've connected all of it. No. neighbors in the town in the 90s settings they will go to a pizza place two guys a girl in a pizza place we'll see nathan fillion we'll see ryan reynolds and they'll be the pizza servers it all ties back to abc they're gonna make that canon this is it i mean at least that's probably more intelligent than 90 percent of the people would have made it it's so. true though because everybody <laughs> has getting... the same dumb idea and this is what needs to happen i want him to just give them pizza <laughs> just i mean at least it's kind of going with like a sitcom thing but, yeah. i watched that show not many people did <laughs> fun fact some of you kids listen to this were born when this show ended or much after it Oof, i'm old damn <laughs> god damn i was gonna say i I think if when I feel old, Lost is nearly twenty years old at this point. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what Deadpool so, needs to do as well: make fun of how old everybody is. Be like, you guys remember that yeah. Deadpool movie came out like a decade ago? Oh, damn! God, it really did, didn't it? Uh, it's gonna be like what a couple years, three years? When did that, when did that first one come out? Was it twenty fourteen? Mm. I'm going I'm to search Deadpool 1. Oh, it was 2016 it came out. Oh, okay. Wow, so, I was thinking 2015. I guess that was Days of Future Past, maybe. I don't know. One of those. Possibly. So we were five years away from it being a decade old. Oh, still. Damn. Huh. Well, Actually, no. It's, yeah, five years, yeah. In due time, I suppose. Now, here's a question I want to ask you. Did they just bring in Josh Brolin as Cable and that's Cable? I hope not. I didn't like his Cable. I... No... I like him as Cable, but I don't like that Cable. I think that's sort of where I'm at, uh, you know? I, I, I like Brolin. I, I don't think he's suited Cable at all. I, I thought he really did look the part, though. Like, I mean, he would he suits Rob Liefeld's version of Cable, which uh, isn't Cable. No, yeah. yeah. And, and doing anything the way Liefeld would want is an instant no. It's a very good life lesson. If Liefeld thinks it's a good idea, do the opposite. <laughs> do the opposite. Guaranteed success here. 
If you oh. want to make it big, do the opposite of life. Oh, that's sad, but it's you, true yeah, though. In, fa- in fairness, life held made it big, but he didn't stay there. If you want to stay big, do the opposite of life held. Don't don't become a an old angry man teetering on the edge of being the MAGA version of comics. Like, yeah. You don't really want to be there. <laughs> like, well, I mean, at least to get you enough of a fan base, I suppose, that there's something to be said to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then all the, those people are dumb and blind. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I ain't a bad thing, but they're, they're clearly like, not physically blind, but they, they, they can't see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do. But yeah, I say stay away from Liefeld's version. And oh, I guarantee Feige will. I guarantee he will. No, that the only the only person I want to be brought over is Domino. See, I want Domino and Colossus because Colossus was pretty much on. Yeah, point. but we're gonna we're gonna get a, a good Colossus again anyway. We're probably gonna get a better Colossus. I mean, yeah, that's that so, is yeah. Uh, we can do Teenage Warhead again at some point. You know, you can even do the thing like he time travels to the MCU, like how they did the multiverse and Endgame. Yeah. And it's like, oh, hey, here's a baby version of Teenage Warhead. Like, I'll see you in like a couple of years. Oh, like, yeah, that could work. Yep. Do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's all fitting. I'm excited. You know, whatever they do, I'm excited by the idea that it's R rated and that they're going to stick with what works and give us an R rated MCU film because. I have a feeling Feige's kind of gonna let let Ryan Reynolds unleash, but keep him on a leash. Oh God, please! No. <laughs> like he's gonna be like, no, 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 let Ryan, no, think. no, no, none let, of that. Let, let, let Ryan think he's gonna absolutely balls to the wall, but yep. like Feige, it's, it's Feige's idea, right? But he's had he has a limiter on him, being like, no, 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 you're too far gone. Let's dial that back to Deadpool one style, not Deadpool two. Deadpool, damn. Yep. It's like, hey, this is a fantastic idea, but what if we did this? <laughs> Remember the idea you had? Like, let's do that idea of yours. Why don't you take this great idea and work it in your own magic, but do it like this? Yeah, kind of like focus them. Yeah, it's, it would work. The reason why Feige has a gray beard and he's now punished Feige is because he's just trying to tame Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> That's all it uh, is. Feige's in going through his ultimate midlife crisis right now. I bet you he drives a sick Harley right now. <laughs> He's like blinged yeah. it out with the, like he looks like the gauntlet. <laughs> he's, he's probably brought a Lamborghini because that's every guy's midlife crisis in it. Yeah. I like to imagine Kevin Feige has a pimp chalice that has all the Infinity Stones <laughs> on it. It has all the Rotten Tomatoes certified freshest on it. Infinity chalice. It's like mm. uh, that's what he looks like though, folks. Look it up. Look up Kevin Feige in 2021. He looks like he's seen some things. <laughs> Say so he would not be a miss in a Metal Gear movie. Yeah. 